Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to add a custom field in any of your Jira issue. So to get started, the first thing you need is the admin access to your Jira instance. Um, I'm already logged in as an administrator, so I'll go to the issues drop down to so go to the settings here, the administrative cogwheel and click on issues. Now under issues you will see the section of fields wherein you have custom fields, field configuration and field configuration schemes. Go to custom fields and click on add custom field. So by default you have many fields available here in the in the custom field you see uh, if you scroll down there are a lot of fields available already. Um, if you want to add new field just click on add custom field and in uh, in the custom field you will see that you have an option to add checkboxes date picker uh, you can add date time picker or you can add labels um, number field radio button etc so if you keep scrolling down you'll see uh, a lot of options available now you can also find more custom fields in atlassian marketplace if you click here um, and you can also go to advanced and find the custom fields so uh, I'll go to switch to standard just to show and say for example I want to add uh, a field um, say radio button or maybe uh, I'll select a checkbox so just scroll down and say checkbox so I've highlighted the checkbox and click next now provide the name of the checkbox so um, what I want to do is I want to say for example in my project there are multiple test environments um, and I want to have um, a list of um, uh, I want to have a list of those environments available in in the checkbox um, field uh, in the checkbox uh, section so that uh, the tester or whosoever is testing the application can choose the, uh, the uh, test environment where they have uh, tested that particular um, test case or uh, that particular scenario uh, so they can um, check box one uh, environment or they can um, click or check uh, multiple environments if they have executed that particular scenario on multiple test environments so what I'll do is I'll say um, here I'll say um, test environments In the name field description is optional so I'll just uh, leave it as is so I'll say just to explain I'll say environment a here you can um, add any name as per the environments uh, naming convention in your organization so as of now I'm just adding the dummy environments so I have added Four environments here you can drag and drop the one that you want to uh, list at the top so for example you want to list environment B at the top you just drag and drop environment B at the top and click on create so it will create this um, custom field right and as soon as um, the custom field is created it will take you to the um, fields uh, or the screens uh, where you want to associate this custom field so here you will see at the moment you'll see all the screens or the uh, the issue screens that are available in all the projects so um, this um, here so for example scrum bug screen you see ma uh, scrum bug screen then that means that uh, is a bug screen for a project um, ma and then this is mop this is the short code of the project uh, in in your jira instance so what I'll do is I'll say say I'll say MOP um, bug screen and just check select that particular um, screen so this custom field will only be visible on the screen that you select so for example if you select MOP scrum bug screen this custom field that we have added just now 
will be only available on MOP project scrum bug screen and not on any other issue type. So I have selected that um, and click on update. All right, and that that's it, that's done. Um, go back to the Mumbai project. So now what I'll do is I'll change the project. So I'll say view all projects and I'll say MOP. So I have configured that custom field for MOP project. So I'll click on Mumbai project. So we have selected that and click on create. Now the issue type is bug. If you scroll down, you will see test environments field here at the bottom. Environment B is the first option that we have uh, mentioned there. Uh, environment A, C, and D. So this custom field is now visible on this um, bug screen for this MOP project. Now, if I change it to a story issue type, that custom field should not be visible, right? So if you scroll down, you won't find any of the custom field that we have added test environment for the story or any other issue type for example task it's not visible um, epic it won't be visible so what you have to do is if you want to add that field to any other screen type then you have to select the screen types um, on which you want to display that custom field so that's pretty much all about adding a custom field in um, your Jira issue type. Uh, hope you like the video. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.